it's real. After 12 years in development, NASA's Space Launch System SLS, rocket with the Orion spacecraft aboard yesterday made its first public appearance at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. In front of invited guests and NASA employees the massive rocket, which is 322 feet high and weighs 5. 75 million pounds, made a painfully slow 11-hour journey atop a mobile launcher vehicle across just 4 miles slash 6. 5 kilometers from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to launch Complex 39B. When it finally launches it will produce 8. 8 million pounds of maximum thrust, which is 15% more thrust than the Saturn V rocket that took the Apollo missions to the moon in the late 1960s and early 1970s. This is NASA's moon rocket, designed to take its Orion spacecraft and, ultimately, the landing on the surface of the moon of the first woman and the first person of color in the mid-2020s. Ironically the dress rehearsal took place just as the full warm moon was rising in the east. That Artemis 3 mission will be preceded first by the Artemis 1 mission, the first test of the space hardware, which is due to launch this summer. What happened yesterday was in preparation for Artemis 1, a full wet dress rehearsal to verify systems and practice countdown procedures for the first launch. The two-day test includes loading and unloading 700 gallons of cryogenic liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen into the rocket's tanks and going through a full launch countdown. There will be a deliberate halt to the countdown at about 10 seconds to practice a scrub or cancelled launch and drain the propellants from the rocket. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed flight test mission lasting 26 days that will fly beyond the moon. It's going to involve three slabs of advanced space hardware, NASA's Space Launch System SLS, and its Orion spacecraft, and the European Service Module ESM, 